Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One, coming to you on Monday, April the 3rd, the year's 2023. Let's talk trading. Trading with Walmart. As always, these videos are for educational purposes only. Your results may differ from mine and differ from Walmart's. And one thing, traders, um, make sure your risk management is in place. Never lose more on any one particular trade than you're willing to lose. So, Walmart, it's been a Monday, hasn't it? <laughs> It has been a Monday for me, that's for sure. Yeah, I, as you know, I don't like trading on Mondays. I usually don't do very well on Mondays. Although the last couple of Mondays I have done pretty well. But uh, not today, that's for sure. Um, I, I've made my call for the day, but it was, uh, it was, it was a fight. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. It was a fight. Right. And, uh, you know, and the thing is, I can't, you know, this is a self-reflection point. Because, you know, the, you, we, I can go and blame the broker, I can go and blame the market, I can go and blame, I can blame you. <laughs> you know, I can blame anybody. Right. You know? <laughs> the reality is, there's only one press, person to press the, the buy button or the sell button. There's only one person who didn't press the exit button, you know, and that's me. So it's all on me, no matter what. Right. It's all on me. <laughs> and uh, just got to get over that just realize that you're going to have days like that and uh, continue to fight, you know. And what you said in the beginning of the, of the, of the video is so important. Don't risk more than you're willing to, to risk because if I had, you know, I would have, I could, I could have very, not blown my account, but I could have very easily damaged myself pretty severely. And, you know, you just can't do that. You got to go and be smart, trade smart, you know, make sure that you keep, as they like to say, keep the boat within the banks of the river. <laughs> you don't want to be crashing to the shoreline. Right. So what are we doing today, sir? Oh, uh, we're just trading. So if we see a trade happening or, uh, you know, I see uh, we just came out of the flip-flop box, but we didn't have, <clears throat> you didn't have your uh, magenta dots, so <clears throat> you wouldn't have taken that trade. I would have actually where I would have gotten in is the second black candle after the big white up candle. Right. Um, 81 six, I guess that's somewhere right there. Yeah. And it would have been worth a pip right now. Um, but it would have been, a, I don't want to say risky, but it just would have, I'd be looking to get a, maybe a pip or two. And I would be getting out right about now because, uh, you know, it, it's right about at the limit. And plus we have this range that's been sitting down here at this, 78.8 that's been holding tight now for you know literally almost two hours right so it's sort of like hmm that far down you know i said to you before we were i was short before it's like am i being greedy or what you know <laughs> you know because i was trying to break it before right and eventually you know it's gonna break you know well more than likely yeah more than likely it's gonna, it's gonna yeah break, you know? And what it does, you know, you know, it could it could run 20, 30, 40 pips, but it just broke. <laughs> yep, exactly. slightly. So we'll see what happens here. <clears throat> you know, um, but you know that that trade off of that off of that uh, that box there, eighty one six, that would have been now worth what three and a half pips. Not bad little trade. Right. But the thing is, again, because it, you got to be smart. You know, we got this range here. Yeah, sure, I could break it and run for a 20 or 30. Um, I personally still wouldn't have gone and waited for the break of that. I just would have taken my two or three dips because, you know, I could very easily go back and run the other direction easily. Right. You know, and so, so I got to wait. So now we got a, uh, for me anyway, we got a flip top box here, but I don't have a state change. So, and I'm and I'm below the um, I'm below the indicator too. So for me, I'm not looking for a long here. Um, just gonna sit on my hands and wait. And it's that's the hardest part of trading. At least that's the hardest part of trading for me, sitting on my hands. <laughs> well, yeah, and you know, part of the reason why I think it's hard is 
we see opportunities. Oh, if I had have done that, I could have made money. Oh, if I would have done this, I could have made money. But the thing is, those aren't your trades. <laughs> it's like, wait for your right. trade. Those aren't your setups, you know? That's that somebody, else, that somebody else's money. <laughs> yeah, so it's just one of those things where that's, that's the discipline part. It's like, nope, that's not mine. Yeah, and it's interesting that you say that. That's the discipline part because I think... In all seriousness, that's the most important part, or one, or one of the most important parts about trading. By the way, we have a state change. We have a flip flop here. Um, this would be um, an opportunity to go along. <clears throat> See what it does. Um, there you go. Could have gotten two pips. Yeah. If you were quick enough. <laughs> if you're quick enough. Yeah. On my, I was, my, with my broker, I was quick enough to get out. Yeah. Um, so we'll see what happens. You know, that's it. But getting back to what we were talking about, you know, that discipline thing. And it, here's the thing, you know, because of this ranging business it's doing, the discipline here is get in, get your pips, get out. Because look what it just did. Yeah, I could have gotten in and could have gotten my two pips, but right now I'd be, not underwater, but I'd be a right of break even, you know, by the time the paid spread the commission. Right. <laughs> and that's not to say it's not going to continue to break the top again, but you could have gone in a second time now at that same level. Right. You would have done that, you would have <clears> up <throat> another two bits, taking two bits. Okay, so between the two trades, you made four bits. You know, and maybe this breaks this top and runs all the way to the top of this range, which would be somewhere around 87 or so. You know, sure, you could have gotten your pips that way waiting, but I'm not guaranteed. I'm guaranteed those. When I see those two pips show up on my chart, I'm guaranteed that if I pop out. Yeah. Now, it's just for uh, let the traders know, right around here, I think it's 2381 is um, actually... I I've got all my charts here. Let's see which one. Okay, yeah, we're right here at the wick zone on this particular broker. It's at 85. So we're getting into that upper wick zone or trying to right here. And you see prices rejected out of it. So we just have to kind of wait and see what happens. Yep. And we, if you see right now, we're right in the middle of that congestion zone. Yeah. So for me, right and right now it's not a this is not a trading opportunity this is just a, a wait and see or if you decide to hold on to the trade from before then you make the decision to go get out now with the pips i have what do i try to go and wait for some more right well with me if there's a one ball in my way um it's like let me get out or two or three ball because it just seems <clears throat> more times than not <clears throat> they'll take the pips from me They do, and and the thing is, it's you know, I hate to say it again, it's not a they, it's just the reality of the market, you know. Right. Um, it's there. There's no, you know, evil evil wizard behind the curtain that's looking and saying, "Where's TRO trading today? Let me go and see if I can you know, mess him up." <laughs> you know, it's, that's not really what's happening back there. Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it seems that way sometimes. <laughs> reality is is that you know they're part of trading is we've got to go to understand this and it's you know and i truly truly believe it's a part of you know the randomness and and what we call chaos theory and you know what we're doing is we're putting structures around the, that chaos and by doing that we can look for opportunity and make some money off of that chaos and that's that's really what we're doing you know, unless you're a fundamental trader or, you know, where you're actually looking to go and not, you know, you're not doing that off the chaos, then, you know, it, it, the reality is you're making money off the chaos. So what do you do? You put a system around the chaos and say, aha, because of the way price seems to move on this particular instrument, I can make money here. Yeah. You know, and then do it over and over again. Yeah, just to let you know, we've shot through the uh, ATR zone. So uh, we're on the other side of it right now by about a pip. 
or so. Actually, okay. I just noticed something on that indicator. I need to update it. I didn't put the uh, the little pip count on there. Um, yeah, it looks like it's like 23825 was the uh, top of the upper ATR zone. So we'll see what. Okay, we have a state change here. You're on M1, yeah. right? Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, state change on M1. Yeah, because well, we've gone from uh, higher, high, higher, low to an inside bar to an outside bar. So, yeah, we've had a couple of state changes. And usually the outside bar um, break is a little, is more explosive than the inside bar break. So, let's see what happens. So, 82 on the short side, 84 on the long, and there it goes to the short side. You would have had a, for me, the, the setup was you were below indicator two, you had a flip-flop box there, you know, um, taking that trade, you know, if you could have gotten it, could have gotten it, could have gotten a pip, pip and a half, something like that. Wow, you had a flip-flop box? My uh, broker, I didn't have a flip-flop box. I've got, yeah, I did. Yeah, because uh, the bar one, bar two, bar three are all bull candles on mine. Yeah, bar uh, what's now uh, one, two, three? What's now bar three was actually uh, the bear candle. Okay. So once again, that's why you have to trade what you see. It's the difference in brokers. Yeah. And look at that. A little pop to the upside. And that's why you take what you can when you're in the middle of this zone here because, you know, you could have gotten your pick and a half. Maybe if you're lucky, you could have gotten a little bit more than a pick and a half. You take it, <laughs> excuse me, you take it while you can, but the thing is, you know, we've been on the phone, I don't know how long now at this point, you know, probably about 10 minutes, so, but uh, if you think about it, you know, I've called out four different trades where you wouldn't have made more than two pips on any of them, maybe one of them, I think you could have gotten three and a half, but the thing is, you know, they all averaged out to probably about two pips. Right. It would have been eight pips in 10 minutes. Just back and forth like this. Yeah, I just switched. It means it. Yeah, I just switched over to the M5 chart because you can see how we're in this range between 78 and looks like 84 right now. Right. So. With, I mean, uh, maybe, 85 level again. Yeah, so maybe actually up to about 88 is where it's been ranging over the past hour or so. So we'll just have to I see. I wish it was more exciting, but this is part of, you know, this is a good thing for people to sit through too because I wish this was more exciting in terms of uh, trades we could take, but the reality is this is my, this is my life. <laughs> But for the most part, it's boring like this. It's waiting, 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 and just having, like we were saying earlier, having the discipline to go wait. KRM30 is about to turn green. It just did on mine. Kind of curious. Let's see. Bambino Flex Indicator says the short price near R1 is a short. We've hit the we've taken out the daily pivot at 2360. Um, let's see. Daily pivot's been taken out. We took out the weekly pivot. And we have not taken out the monthly pivot. So, did you set your timer? Because I think I'm almost out of, just about out of time, aren't we? We should be just about out of time right about now because I got, uh, I got 15 minutes. Yeah. Okay, fellow traders. So, hope uh, you learned something there because it's not what you trade; it's how you trade it. So, go out there and drain the banks. This is the rumpled one. Over and out.